Alright, I feel like I've gotten more consistent at this after uh, doing this for uh, the uh, Coin Up Classic last year. But then again, it's probably been like uh, like 9 or 10 months. I don't think I've played it since then. Oh yeah, Mr. Radon, there's definitely going to be new stuff I uh, I plan on doing. Obviously, for these uh, these first few streams, I wanted to do uh, I wanted to do the stuff I'm familiar with. I've been I've been putting together a list of games uh, I want to learn. Games I've always like kind of been like, yeah, I'd like to get a one CC on that. That list is like uh, 50 games long at this point. And so once I once I get to the point where I'm running out of things I've done already. I will start attempting to pick up some new games. I don't know if I'll be using Mondays as like practice streams, or if I'll do those on other streams, but it will 100% uh, be happening. I don't think Road Blasters was ever up for consideration. That game's hard. Especially not in MAME. I have no way to control it in MAME. The audio. This game's kind of quiet. This game isn't a true sequel to Smash TV. It's more of a spiritual successor. Made by a lot of the same team. But I will still stand by the fact that it is not as bad as Smash TV in terms of 1C scene. If you can get by Orcus, you're you're past like the first major major hump. And then you have to worry about the last boss, of course. But we'll get to that. And of course we're going for the pleasure domes. Got to pick up 220 keys throughout the game, so we're going the long way. We're not using uh, we're not using any shortcuts. Of course, a new thing in this game it has a a bomb button. And on your uh, on your first credit, the uh, the bombs are worth uh, or not worth they. Uh, they give you, like, uh, invincibility for, like, the, the first five minutes of that credit every time you use one. After five minutes are up, you get no more invincibility on bombs. Yeah, this game actually has two separate flamethrowers. And they're both good! This is the really good one! Look at this shit! One shot and it's fucking murking all these enemies. It's kind of random whether you get the uh, the orange flame or the blue flame from each one. But even the orange one's alright. Like there are there are no bad weapon pickups in this game. They're all they're all usable. Oh god. That came out sooner than I thought. Instant warps appear throughout the game. They'll warp you to a new area and a free man. But they're not really a warp because they just take you back to where you started. They're not warps as in the, uh, the shortcut sense. And so I am going in pretty much all those just for the just for the chance of getting more keys. On this section, they actually give you a uh, an infinite supply of this uh, machine gun. Also, that's a uh, a bomb that blows you up if you don't disarm it in time. No matter where you are on the screen. So again, I can I can just use bombs here to get like a second of invulnerability. 
Anytime it looks like I'm being run over. Oh, that's a lot of keys. Am I gonna get there in time? Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. You can stand on the side and just, uh, and just shoot stuff, but then you don't get the keys and all the other stuff. But if you are playing it safe, yeah, you can you can just stay right here. Nothing will, will hit you. That's actually the strat I use for... There's a part in the last stage where they, they reuse this. Except it scrolls the screen at the same time. Ah, she got both bombs. And these keys that are, like, hidden behind walls, they respawn when you come out of a warp, so... Anytime you see hidden keys, don't forget where they are. Is there a bomb under here? Anytime I see, like, pre- Ah, is this there? I just kind of... Drop a bomb just in case there's something underneath. Surprise. And of course here they say do not hog bombs. I don't know if, if hogging bombs actually has like any sort of negative impact on what you do. I think they're just saying like share it with the other player if you're playing a two player game, but we're not doing that. Difficulty five. Barrels are about to explode. I wouldn't be surprised if there was some kind of, like, uh, rank increase if you kept picking up bombs after you already have nine bombs. You can store a few bombs past the, uh, the nine bomb limit. You can probably... Actually, I'm not sure, but I think you can have, like, 16, because, you know, that's F and hexadecimal. But it will sh it will show it will give you bombs past nine. Not lives though. Can't have more than nine lives. Use your bombs, BBH. Smash TV though. Can I actually get that key? Ah, scrolled off the screen. Already up to seven lives. There were enemies hidden in the hostages there. He's here. Can't get those shoes. I will never have the shoes. Excuse me. Come on. Okay. Yeah, five minutes have passed. I no longer have invincibility when I use my bombs. Out of that good, good flamethrower. You get the invincibility. Wait, hold on. I'll buy you for a dollar. I'll buy you for a dollar. 
No, the invincibility does not come back until you run out of lives and put in another credit. This is Midway. They want your money. They don't want you to play for a while on one credit. Man, I'm already at eight lives. Holy shit. Stupid missiles. Alright, new enemies. These guys are pretty annoying. Not as annoying as the next, next enemy, though. Mr. Butane. They sometimes come out of boxes. They have flamethrowers of their own. But they only they only work at a uh, diagonal angle. If they walk towards you, they're about to use it. Like that. They take a lot of hits, but you can kill them with one bomb. I don't think that Yaz from Pit Fighter, because that's an Atari game, not Midway. Uh, ah, missed some, some hostages. Oh well. And sometimes the bombs that blow every, up all the enemies, sometimes they're duds. Better luck next time. I'm stuck in the corner. Yeah, I was kind of fucked there. Not. That's okay. I'll get more lives. I hope. Okay, I do not want to take the shortcut. Shortcut will take you straight to the boss. Which I do not want, because you'll get less keys that way. in here? I thought there were keys. Whenever you see the palm trees, there's usually keys hidden inside. I was banking on that. These flags are sus suspicious. There's probably a bomb. A landmine in there somewhere. Yep. I saw something explode. Oh, come on! I was about to blow everybody up. Hydragon, why would you even ask that? You can probably guess what I would say. I don't know why you need to compare every game. There's a checkpoint. Checkpoints are just just a free extra life. And the US flag. Yeah, I don't know why they they have a number for like the number of hostages you've, hostages you've saved considering they don't really they don't really do anything. They're just points. 
you don't get like a bonus for saving a certain amount. It'd be nicer if, if they told you like how many keys you had at any given moment, but. Oh well. Where are these guys jumping? walked into that mine. That would have been embarrassing. Help me. Help me. Help me. Get the extra life. I think there's one more life before the before the boss. No, there are no uh, there are no point based extends. Smash TV did that, but oh god damn it. Okay. That's not good. Better hope for some more some more random one-up drops. It's gonna come down to not fucking up on Orcus. You can't get that key. <laughs> The weapon. There we go. Not the best weapon, but I'll take it. Okay. Luckily, there are these these one-hit versions of the butanes that show up too. They're still thick boys. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's not good. Oh, no, I missed it. I wanted an oh god. Yep. Oh, man. <laughs> they didn't want to spawn any more weapons. out of bombs. Need 220 keys for the Pleasure Dome. I'm like a fifth of the way there. I mean, they, they do kind of give you a lot in the, uh, in the second quote-unquote stage. It is gonna, it is gonna go up a bit. Oh god! Ah! I'm busting out of boxes, and I don't have enough bombs. Oh yeah, they give you a lot of bombs here. Jackpot, baby! Yeah, more hidden keys. Anytime like there's anything like blocking the foreground. There's usually keys hidden behind them. Or hostages. Read the Orcus hints just to give me some invulnerability. I don't need to know any of this, but Orcus is a uh, is a brutal boss. And the hardest part of this boss fight is surviving the beginning. If I can get through that, it actually gets easier. So here's hoping I don't lose too many lives. Basically, I gotta I gotta destroy those guns first. The guns cover a lot of space on the screen. <laughs> I 
butters. Thank you for the sub. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Ryoko. <laughs> Thank you very much for the sub, Butters. Get it in. Uh oh. How did. Okay. I was gonna say, how did I survive that? And then I didn't survive it. Come on. If I can get take out one gun, I'm, I should be fine. Wow, you would block it like that, wouldn't you? Okay. As long as I... yeah. As long as I'm invincible, I'm fine. At some point, Orcus actually runs out of ammo. Okay. We're past the hard part, but now there's some new attacks. It's not a, it's not a free win. Is this easier than Smash TV? Well, I'm not doing Smash TV on this stream. That should tell you everything you need to know. Never stand underneath them, because then uh, the tongues come out. Alright. Have to destroy these specifically piece by piece. Uh-oh. 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 Get out of there. Alright. Next is the eyes. Uh-oh. Woo! have the, uh, the rocket bobber. situation. Okay. If I ran down and start shooting the tongues out. Don't squash me, thank you. I... Okay. Almost. We're almost there. You can still die to it when it's when it's exploding at the end. That's good. Look out, look out. And then of course the final fuck you. I totally got run over by that the first time. After all that, Okboob can still run you over with his car. And that was just stage one. I only died once on Orcus. That was pretty good. Yeah. 
player one is great. X17, thank you for the, the 269 bits. All Smash TV players should quit now and flee from this machine. I don't know why they say that when this game is actually easier than Smash TV in the in the end, but whatever. Yeah. All right, let's read the hints. Woo! Try squeezing between barrels and walls. Honk. Over here. So they give you infinite uh, three-way shot for this part. You have to destroy every tank, and you get a you get a big bonus if you do. If you let one tank or or truck go by, they they talk shit to you. Uh oh. Uh, okay, I got it. I thought that one was about to get by. Woo! Come on. There we go. There's plenty of bombs. some points, but the bigger thing is that you get an extra life if you if you get the all bonus. Honestly, I, I think I'll be okay. Stage two is not it's not that hard. Yeah I guess it was too far off the screen when I destroyed it. I don't know. I'm confused. I thought I got all of them. There was one that looked like it was escaping, but I... I thought I got it? Ah, whatever. Total Carnage always finding new ways to fuck me over. What else is new? Beast, super bonus warp coming. There's like one room that only shows up if you have enough keys up to that point, I think. Which I pretty much always get. die in one hit. I'm already back up to eight lives. There's the 
extra room. Bonus keys! And now I have nine lives again. Or I have nine lives for the first time. Unfortunately, you cannot stockpile more than nine lives. That would... That would make the game a little bit easier if you could. It would be super nice to go into stage three with, like, 15 lives or something. But alas, this is a midway game. Smash TV did the same thing. You couldn't have more than nine lives in that either. Serve my ammo. Like, I think the upper limit to bombs is 16. Because, you know, that's hexadecimal right there, but. Because you can definitely have more than 9. Worried about destroying all the uh, all the jeeps here. It's pretty much impossible with one player. I just try to get all the keys. Defuse the bombs if need be. Oh oh oh. Oh look, an extra life when I don't need it. Great. A classic. Sure could use that luck on the last stage. I'm wasting all my karma. Another one! Come on! I feel like I'm gonna be punished if I pick it up. Sure, let it go. Boing, boing, boing. Get the keys again. Oh, another key. Nice. I think I'm doing pretty good on keys so far. Well, on pace to get 220. that bomb not kill him? Whoa. What are you doing? Okay. Now for the jets. Good luck! So the landmines start moving here, which is kind of a problem, because you have to use a bomb to actually missile strike the jets, and at the same time, there's keys hidden inside the jets if you walk into them. But, you know, there's there's these landmines moving around, so it's really risky to, to try to walk into them. Like that. If you get a shield, everything's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, on that. There we go. And they give you a hover belt here, so you can actually go over the mines. Problem is, they don't—they don't give you a warning right before it's about to run out. It just kind of ends, like that. Over here. Thank you, thank you. 
I think there's an extra life after all this, though, so I, I think I'm okay. Oh god. on the left side, that's right. And back up to nine lives. Yeah. Egg bonus. Oh, another life I don't need. Well I'm gonna keep it on screen because it doesn't it doesn't disappear like everything else. So if I lose a life here I can Pick it up. I didn't even see it. <laughs> I honestly didn't see that. God, BBH thought ahead for once. Spider enemies. Not too dangerous, there's just a lot of them. Kind of annoying to kill with the, the default shot, but that applies to most enemies in this game, don't we? The big spiders drop their eggs. They do hatch. That's why you want to get those egg bonuses. They look like spiders. The, the number of eggs or number of legs might not match, but. <laughs> oh. Oh, God. Yep, can't have more than nine lives. It'd be so nice if I could keep stockpiling them. That's a lot more pressure on the final stage. What are you doing? Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh. Oh god. Oh god. I lost track of where everything was. The point values on those hostages don't don't go up like the other ones. The other ones go up to like 100 points, but those always stay at 10. Yeah, this is a low scoring game. Alright, more hidden keys over here. Gotta get in there quick before the screen scrolls too much. Easy, free man! Superhero games are for dogs. <laughs> I don't know what kind of commentary that was. I don't know who they were talking shit about, but... Yeah, they're talking shit on Atari Batman. I like where that bomb is. Well, that's unfortunate. They put a bomb right over the exit. I thought I was going to walk into it. Oh, fuck. 
And that is why I wish you could have more than nine lives. Of course. Alright, just gotta... Just gotta be careful. Some of these dudes jump the fence. They're not... They're not on fire, and then... They're on fire. And the best way to take out enemies that are already set on fire is to... Shoot them with a flamethrower? I wonder if there's another extra life for the end of the stage. I sure hope so. Excuse me. Aruga. Yes. Yeah, that was. I bumped into the side of the the jeep and I didn't die. Thank God. They give you a little bit of leeway. Just a little. Is there a one last checkpoint? I guess not. Alright, there are some extra lives at the beginning of the next stage, though, so... Yeah, this is... This is the last screen in stage two. There's not a traditional boss. Why did I make a car crash sound? Oh, that's really risky. No, you don't. Squad up! <laughs> Alright, the electric chair. Time to mash. If you do not escape the electric chair, you lose all your lives. Good luck! But it seems to be easier in MAME than it is in uh, Arcade. <laughs> yeah, that was the... <laughs> destroyer from jail. Yeah, if you... If you fail that electric chair stage, it just takes away all your lives and you have to put in another credit. Like, they're they are straight up punishing you if you don't have the ability to, to mash quickly. That's a little rough. That's a little rough. What are we at? 152 keys, that should be good. Eight more keys to go. But first, I gotta finish the game. <laughs> yeah, 
Yep, there's the Astrolife. Yeah, that Knuckle Bash run was fun. Alright, so this shit again. You don't have to destroy the Jeeps. Just the tanks and the trucks. Jeeps, you can just let those go by. Oh god, I need more bombs. gonna escape. Yep, no bonus. Gotcha, no bonus. Alright. Sometimes you just, get, you just get bad spawns like that. What are you gonna do? Yeah, the Eats is actually a, uh, a four-letter password. This game has a password system. That you can use to, like, warp ahead. Obviously, we're not using any, any passwords. This game is so long, they put in a password system in an arcade game. There. Okay. Just. I'll just. I'll just summon it. I was gonna say like after all this shit. I thought it was more than four. Oh well, my score will be bad, but that's alright. As long as I can keep the one credit run alive. Coming soon for you. Bombs are going off. Alright. Final piece of hints. Eat it, Browns. Bulls rule now. Pistons will rule the NBA again. Midway rules. Of course, there's a message there about the uh, about the Detroit Pistons because this game was, was made by Mark Turmel, who ended up uh, working on NBA Jam after this. And Turmel was a big Pistons fan, and he didn't uh, he didn't like all the all the Bulls fans that he had to work with. And of course, this is right around the time uh, the Chicago Bulls kind of became a little bit of a dynasty. So, of course, it's come out recently that Turmel like specifically rigged Pistons versus Bulls games in NBA Jam to like make the Bulls shoot bricks in the last quarter. Who knows what other what other kind of secrets are in there? Yeah, he did. He's like uh like somebody else like uh there was like some interview that was on like it was on like Sports Illustrated's website or something, and like somebody else like spilled the beans about that. And then Tremel's like, Yeah, I might have done stuff like that. Like he didn't want to straight up admit it, but he straight up admitted it. Did he say it at GDC? Okay. Well, there you go. Uh, these mines are not getting out of the way. Thank you. 
Yeah, he actually, like, NBA Jam was actually, like, the next game he worked on, like, immediately after this. Because apparently this game did, was not as successful as they wanted. Which is understandable, because, I mean, this was around the time Street Fighter 2 hit it big. There's an extra life after this, so I, I should be fine if I can actually get back to the bombs. Out of my way! Can't see shit. Oh, I do have to blow up every every jet here for the bonus. I'm not even trying for the bonus piece. There we go. Back. Thank you. Thank you. You are most awesome. If you stand by the USA flag, it keeps doing that. All right. One eighty six, one eighty seven. I think we're good. I think that was the last optional quote unquote warp zone. Oh my god, how did that not blow up? Okay. Whew, okay. That's not good. The magic number is 220. Holy shit, that was fast. I'm at like 196 now. Hopefully I don't get hit by that glitch again. There was a weird glitch that happened in this area on one of my practice attempts, like, before the Point Out Classic. I still have no idea what triggered it. <laughs> Come on. I gotta destroy this. There we go. I don't think I triggered the glitch, at least. Secret path here. It's not going through. There we go. Uh, vomit, please. Thank you. Why did I not get that? Okay, I'm like out of bombs. Stupid moving mines. They're about to get really stupid with it later. Not on this screen, at least. As long as nobody comes out from the back, I'm fine.
No keys. Oh, checkpoint. Okay, back to nine lives. Thank God. I think there's like one more checkpoint after this. Alright, so I'm going to do the safe strat here. Just hug the right side. Don't get distracted by the orange gems. No, they give you uh they give you infinite uh rapid fire for that for that shot for that section. If you pick up another weapon, it just replaces it with the uh the machine gun. They do that in a few case in a few spots in the game. Anytime those those streams of four uh columns of jeeps show up, it's just infinite machine gun shot. And that part those parts at the beginning of stage 2 and 3 where I had to destroy all the the tanks and the trucks. You get infinite three-way shot for that part. Those are the only times you get like an infinite amount of a special weapon. Wow, double missile? Really? Excuse me! Excuse me. Uh, I'm kind of in a bad spot here. I, want I couldn't get out. I wanted that weapon. Oh, thank you! Thank you, game. Very kind of you. Of course. I can't. Oh, fuck. Oh, that was the end, too. close to the end. This is a very long game, but we're getting close. It's the home stretch. Excuse me. Bounce. Okay. Hey, a non-dud. Time you hear the excuse me, get ready to put a bomb down. It's too hard to deal with those missiles otherwise. Wow, double dud. Double dutch. Okay. Let's. I. I'm an idiot. I'm a big idiot. Reg, this is not the time for that. I thought I had enough time for that would, uh. I knew that was going to happen, but I thought I had enough time to get over there. I could have been I could have been back up to 9 lives. Son of a bitch. Okay, I'm <laughs> Yeah. 
Losing that one life after the area started up was, was bad because I didn't get the, uh, the life back. Oh, no, no, no. And I still got to get through this screen. This screen fucking sucks. I need as many bombs as possible. I think the strat is hang out at the bottom right. Excuse me. Ration your bombs. Oh, I need that. I need that so bad. Yes. That helps. In both frames. I wanted those bombs. Oh well. Son of a bitch. I hate that first rush. That is the worst. Double bomb, really? Or double missile? That's fine. You know, I should, sure could use some, uh, some of those random extra life spawns. That'd be pretty nice right about now. Here we go, final boss. That shield's not gonna last. Okay, if I got a shield. Nope, never mind. Alright, I gotta Zerg rush it. Oh, and you're gonna fire missiles at me, really? Fuck out of here. Uh oh. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, extra life. Give me that shit. Now for the stressful part. These missiles are really fucking hard to hit without a weapon. I'm getting some good luck on the shield, so... That's the hard part. This is still not free, though. I don't know how many times I've actually gotten through the, uh, the missile phase without dying. That is 
that was some really good luck. Whoa, that should have killed me. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna question that. Of course. Alright, best to focus on one head. Got bombs. Not over yet! Oh shit. I tried to grab my drink! Okay. Yep. Alright. You can missile strike it, which destroys everything on screen. Damn it. One. Fuck you, Hitler. Shh. I didn't know what was going to happen there. I think I got this. I almost walked into the bomb. Let's see if I care. Two. One for the road. Red skull. Still fire missiles. Okay. Oh, it's not over yet. I can't die here, but I could get a bad ending. You're not allowed to fire here. You have to just walk into every every Akbuk clone. If one of them escapes, you get a bad ending. Somehow that one, the one that escaped was the real one. I don't like the way these are spawning. 
Eat caca. Almost there. Yes! <sighs> oh, oh, wait. Now I get to make him fry. The customer is king. <laughs> Rumble points. Car 69, a Roger. Car 69, Roger. Thank you for the bits. Skeleton ahead. I had three lives left, but I, I still stress about this every time. <laughs> Just because, like, that's one of the best fights I've ever had against the boss there. Like, getting through that missile part without dying, that was good. Yeah, it has gone horrendously wrong in some of my attempts. 251 keys! Sweet sassy molassy. That's a lot of keys. I love carrots, and I'm very hungry. But... All right. Pleasure, Dome's time. Pious. <laughs> Pious. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to think about it. Anyway, just like Smash TV, they have the Pleasure Domes. A place to pick up all the prizes you can you can grab. Watched over by our old buddy Mutoid Man. And his brother Mutoid Man too. But I cannot pick up every every prize. There's no way to do it with one player. See yeah, all the insta prizes. Cobros are there. Mutoid Man's there. They didn't put Scarface there because everybody fucking hates Scarface. the last piece of the treasure. Oh well. Scarface is definitely up there as one of the dumbest bosses. The ladies have been most anxious. One of only a few who have reached this far. You are a great dual joystick game player. However, but of course they uh, they later found out that the uh, the text here is bugged, and they didn't uh, they didn't program in another uh, another ending or like. The text doesn't exist for the uh, for an ending that that says this. And then, like, even if you even if you do get two players and you pick up every every prize, you'll you'll still get that uh, you'll still get this ending. I mean, it's it's just another case of midway, like just not thinking anybody's gonna find this stuff. Because, yeah, when they when they shipped Smash TV, the Pleasure Domes weren't even in the game yet. But they got, they got, like, they got mail from people, like, asking, where the hell are the Pleasure Domes? 
Oh, you're not supposed to see the women unless you get all the prizes. There's supposed to be an ending screen with just the guys sitting there, but with, without the women. Yeah, that ending is just, like, completely fucked. I filled up the all-time board. Anyway, if you at home want to do your own uh, any percent on Total Carnage, here's what you do. You go to the password screen. You put in A... Oops. Oh, right joystick. Uh, I don't have right joystick mapped. I have them mapped to the same thing. What the hell? Let me uh, undo that. Put in a password, AZAZ. -A -Z. And you go straight to the Pleasure Domes. Welcome. Yeah, that's the uh, the Herman Munster way of, uh, of 1C scene. Keys collected, 500. The fuck out of here. Yeah, because you can actually, like, you can actually set, like, uh, how many keys you need, I think. I thought you could. I thought it was a setting. Am I wrong? Man, I have I've played this a bit in MAME, huh? Oh, is it a dip switch? Oh, yeah. Why did they make that a dip switch? Oh, you can lower it to 200, but you can't raise it past 220. So by default, it's at the highest. Starts, continues during road one. Five watchdogs. Bad trap, software hangups. Wait, how many how many credits total? They didn't put any uh what? Huh? Did I bug something out again? I can't say anything. Uh, maybe I should just hit escape. <laughs> I keep breaking everything. Has the uh, has the bongo clone from Destroyer from Jail fucked everything up again? 